God gives all to those who get up early. Why are people afraid of getting older? You feel wiser. You feel more mature. You feel like you know yourself better. You would trade that for softer skin. Not me. Dating a tennis player is risky, love means nothing to us. It's not really a shorter skirt, I just have longer legs. Like any young person, I do what I want. Boyfriends have to understand my needs. I shower four times a day. I believe in commitment. I believe in being open and trusting each other and respecting each other completely. Boyfriends have to understand me and my needs. They have to know what I want out of my life and about my strict regime. I go to bed at 10 p.m. and not later. I separate my professional and private lives. I hate my muscles. I'm not Venus Williams. I'm not Serena Williams, I don't want to look like they look. I'm like the most expensive, exotic item on a gourmet menu. People can wonder about the sensuous delights of the dish, but they can't afford such an expensive luxury. I have a lot of boyfriends, I want you to write that. Every country I visit, I have a different boyfriend. And I kiss them all. I've been judged my whole life. People always expected amazing things from me. There are a lot of pretty girls. I am a tennis player first of all, that is why I am here, and if wasn't producing results no one would notice me. My manager wants me to dress like a nun and I want to dress like a teenager. I enjoyed my time on the Biggest Loser Ranch. Although I will not be returning as a full-time trainer on season 13, I will always be a part of the Biggest Loser family and my commitment to bettering lives through health and fitness will continue. It's that I have a good personality and am a good tennis player. I don't know what better teenage life you could get than going around the world doing what you love to do. You don't think people would go on about my looks if I was number 500 in the world instead of number 1-2, do you? Anyway, as I keep telling everyone, you can't blame me for looking like this on purpose. People don't get to see the unglamorous side. At 16, 17, you have no fear. You don't think or analyze. You just play on automatic. You can get smarter as you get older, but in sports you can be too smart, you know. When I play, I feel like in a theater, why should I look ugly then, because I'm a tennis player. Judgment is judgment, whether you're obese, or too skinny, or not athletic enough. Well, I'm playing for the fans so whenever they come and ask for autographs I always try to give it to everybody because I'm out there for the people. I enjoy every win that I have. Every win gives me satisfaction, because all the girls are competitive and the tour is so even and tough. It's true I always try to be as seductive as possible but I wouldn't be here if I couldn't play tennis. I think that tennis is a ladies sport, so we should look out there like ladies. A court is like a scene, People want to see attractive people. Anna Sergeyevna Kornikova born 7 June 1981 was born in Moscow, Russia. Her father, Sergei Kornikov, born 1961, a former Greco-Roman wrestling champion, 
eventually earned a Ph.D. and was a professor at the University of Physical Culture and Sport in Moscow. As of 2001, he was still a part-time martial arts instructor there. Her mother Ala, born 1963, had been a 400 meters runner. Her younger half-brother, Alan, is a youth golf world champion who was featured in the 2013 documentary film The Short Game. Anna Kornikova is a Russian former professional tennis player and American television personality. Her appearance and celebrity status made her one of the best-known tennis stars worldwide. At the peak of her fame, fans looking for images of Kornikova made her name one of the most common search strings on Google search. Kornikova received her first tennis racket as a New Year gift in 1986 at the age of five. Despite never winning a singles title, she reached number 8 in the world in 2000. She achieved greater success playing doubles, where she was at times the world number one player with Martina Hingis as her partner. She won Grand Slam titles in Australia in 1999 and 2002, and the WTA Championships in 1999 and 2000. They referred to themselves as the Spice Girls of Tennis. Kornikova retired from professional tennis in 2003 due to serious back and spinal problems including a herniated disc. She lives in Miami Beach, Florida, and played in occasional exhibitions and in doubles for the St. Louis Aces of World Team Tennis before the team folded in 2011. She was a new trainer for season 12 of the television show The Biggest Loser replacing Jillian Michaels, but did not return for season 13. In addition to her tennis and television work, Kornikova serves as a global ambassador for Population Services International's Five and Alive program, which addresses health crises facing children under the age of five and their families.